We'll guide you through how to make rolling end credits in CapCut. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. These can go and look really professional and cool, so let's get started. And it's a great way of going and crediting people. So to go and do this, you need to come to the end of the CapCut project you want to do this in. Make sure you don't have anything selected and tap text. Then you can tap on add text. Now we can start typing in the credits. So you can go over to the right of enter text and click on the arrows to expand it. Now you can start. So I'll go and type in credits. Then I'll go and press return. I'll make it a double space and we can start typing in names. When you're finished, click apply in the top right. And there it is. And what you can then do is go and tap fonts and you can go and choose a font you want to go and use. You can go for the different styles, effects, etc. And you can also go and adjust the size a bit as well, but you can go and pinch to do that as well. Then you can press a tick when you're ready. I'll press don't split. And you just want to go and adjust the position of the text by clicking, holding and dragging it. And you can snap it right to the end of the last clip like so. Now you want to go right to the start of the text where it first starts. You can go and tap on it to go and do that like so. You want to click, hold and drag it down like so, so it's off the screen. Then go to the right of the play pause button and press on the diamond. That will go and create a keyframe. Now we need to go to the end of the text. At the moment, it's only around two or three seconds. I want it to be a bit longer. So you can click, hold and drag it. And then at the end, all you need to do is go and drag the text up all the way like so. So it's off the screen at the top. Another keyframe should automatically be made. Now, if I play it back, you'll go and see them scrolling. If you want it to be slower, then you'll need to go and drag this out more and add the keyframe later. But it's that simple. 